Hey YouTube, Chrissy G here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for subscribing and supporting. We are in December, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, December. Woo! Last month before the end of 2018. How do you guys feel? I hope you guys are feeling amped up and positive and hopeful. I want to talk about in these next few weeks of December, things that you should let go of in 2018. Leave it in 2018. Don't bring it with you in 2019. And they all surround fear. This year, we talked about fearless living, about truly walking in faith and owning your confidence, owning your purpose, owning your passion, and, and just going for it. Not sitting by and letting life happen to you, but going for it and letting life happen for you, creating the life that you deserve, creating the career you deserve, and walking into that passion and that calling that is for you. So today I want to talk about letting go of fear of rejection, fear of rejection. Now rejection is tricky because sometimes we can be rejected in our past and it may seem small, but it is a seed that is planted that grows and festers and flourishes into full blown fear that leads to stagnation, that leads to dream killers that leads to, you know, us not being where we want to be in life. So I want to talk to you about letting go of that fear of rejection. We have all experienced it in our lives. I know I have experienced rejection in many <laughs> different forms and in relationships and friendships at work, at school, um, rejection kind of followed me wherever I went. And when I was younger, I used to hold on to those things. I used to remember little phrases and little words, sometimes said in jest and sometimes said intentionally to me to hurt me. And how I felt in that moment when I was rejected, how I felt lesser than, how I felt inadequate, how, how I felt like this was it for me and that I would never amount to much because of that one little seed that was planted in me. And I had to work on myself each and every day to break down those boundaries and break down those strongholds over my life and to say no more. I am not going to allow the fear of rejection to stop me from moving forward, to stop me from going for the things that I want, for, to stop me from building and dreaming God-sized dreams for my life. If I say that I trust in God, and if I say that I am a proud child of God, then I have to recognize and understand that God is bigger than any problem that I can ever face, and God is bigger than any rejection or fear of rejection that I could ever face. So what did I do? It's probably what you want to know. How do I get over this fear of rejection? How do I get over this feeling of if I do it, I'm going to fail because I was told that I was a failure in my past or I was told that I was not good enough in my past. So I feel like I'm not good enough now. You know, those are the things that kind of hold us back. So you have to start now unpacking those things, those things that you buried in a closet far away in the back and you're like, I'm going to put it in a lockbox and I'm never going to look at it or revisit it again. You're going to have to revisit it today, ladies and gentlemen, because in order to tackle that fear of rejection, you've got to face it head on and you've got to square up and you've got to get ready to fight because you're going to have to overcome this fear in order to move to the next level. So let's say someone told you when you were younger that you were stupid. They may have said it as a joke or what have you, but that phrase stuck with you. And so you took it into your job and you took it into your schooling and you took it into your relationships and you allowed people to walk all over you and you allowed people to tell you how to live your life and tell you what to do. And you lost confidence in your own ability to make decisions because someone 20 years ago told you you were stupid. This is how you overcome it. You have to rebuke it and reject it. You have to think back 20 years ago. It doesn't matter the context of that conversation. It doesn't matter who said it. What matters is you bought into it. So you have to return to sender. Okay. You have to say, I no longer want to own this. I no longer want to hold on to this 
rejection. I no longer want to hold on to the stigma that I am stupid. I no longer want to hold on to the stigma that I can't make sound, wise, mature decisions for my life. I no longer want to hold on to this and I want to let it go. I want to let it go because I know that I'm not stupid. I want to let it go because I know that I am confident. I know I want to let it go because I know that the God that works in me wouldn't let me fail if I set out to do something that was great, if I set out to do something that was important to me and important to the kingdom. So I've got to let it go. I've got to release myself from the hold of that one phrase, you are stupid. I've got to release myself from it and I've got to walk in the truth that I am smart. I am intelligent. I am bright. I am a builder of things. I am a maker of dreams. I have accomplished so much in my life and it is because of who I am and it's because of the grace of God that is upon me that I am where I am today. So whoever told me that I was stupid, they were wrong. They were mistaken. They allowed the devil to use them to sow a seed. But right now I'm uprooting that seed. I'm saying, nope, no more. I'm not buying into this. I'm not stupid. I'm, I don't lack confidence. I don't lack courage. In fact, I am the most courageous person I know. I am the most confident person I know. And I wear the garment of confidence well. I wear the garment of success well. No more will I allow people to look at me like, ah, oh, this person is not good enough. No more will I allow people to, to watch me work and wait for me to fail. Oh no, you're going to be disappointed today because today is the day that I choose to win. Today is the day that I choose to buy into my victory. Today is the day that I choose to believe what God says about me, that I am beautifully and fearfully and wonderfully made, that I am more than a conqueror, that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me me that the same spirit that worked in Jesus Christ back then is the same spirit that works in me. So there's nothing that I can't do because I serve a limitless God. Buy into that truth, ladies and gentlemen, not the curses of the past, not those negative seeds that were sown into you. If someone ever told you that you weren't beautiful, if someone ever told you that you were not good enough, if someone ever told you that you were not worth loving, those people are liars. Those are the enemy. Their words are the enemy. So I want to encourage someone today, if you are facing that fear of rejection, if you are buying into the negativity and those negative seeds sown into you from years ago, even from yesterday, let it go. Uproot those seeds, spray that weed killer, whatever you need to do to vanquish that thought, that phrase, that curse from your life. Set yourself free because you have the power to do so. Set yourself free and buy into the truth of who God says you are. Buy into the vision that God gave you and walk in that truth and walk in that vision and succeed in spite of those naysayers. Succeed and win and watch them, watch you rise to the top. So whatever it is that you're going through right now, that is the first thing I want you to think about in this month of December. Letting go of the fear of rejection. We're not taking rejection with us into 2019. We're not taking that fear. Now, will there be times when doors will be closed for our benefit? Yes. Will there be people that reject us for our benefit? Yes. So we're going to ask God to give us the wisdom to see that when people reject us and when we face situations where we're feeling rejected, sometimes it's for our benefit because those people aren't for us, because that job wasn't for us, that situation wasn't for us. And you will see the blessing in the rejection. But if you're dealing with the rejection that has kept you stagnant, that has kept you frozen in time and unable to accomplish anything in your life, that is not the rejection that was from God. And you need to let that go. You need to leave it with God, leave it in 2018, because in 2019, we got stuff to do. And we ain't got time to allow fear of rejection to hold us back from achieving our greatness. So I hope that this encouraged someone today. I love you guys. Let go of that fear of rejection and rise to the occasion because you can do it. I believe in you. God believes in you. And now it's time for you to believe in yourself. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful weekend and I will see you guys next week. Bye.